हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बाय स्मार्ट अकेडमी इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ आवर डिस्कशन सीरीज ऑफ सी एस आर नेट लाइफ साइंस ओके क्वेश्चन पेपर दैट वॉज हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट नवम्बर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस थ्री पार्ट ओके एंड दिस इज द पार्ट फोर ऑफ आवर पेपर डिस्कशन एंड दिस इज द फाइनल पार्ट ऑफ आवर पेपर डिस्कशन आई ऑलमोस्ट डिस्कस ऑल द क्वेश्चन that i basically get from uh, basically students so this will be the final part of our discussion and tomorrow i will bring a video where i will going to discuss about the expected cut off uh, of november 2020 csa net license examination okay so guys remain with us okay and please share बाय स्मार्ट अकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल बिकॉज हेयर वी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स मैनी फ्री यूट्यूब मैनी फ्री लेक्चर्स डेट आर बेसिकली हेल्पफुल फॉर योर सी एस आर नेट प्रिपरेशन एंड ऑल्सो वी विल गोइंग टू स्टार्ट बेसिकली फ्री लेक्चर्स फॉर सी एस आर नेट जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब और The first question that we basically in this discussion first I want to basically remind you that we will discuss the question from both the shift that is morning shift that is shift one as well as from shift two okay we will discuss the question from both the shift shift one and shift two so you don't have to worry you just watch the video you will get your question okay so the first question uh, that we will going to discuss about the succession okay one question that basically asked Uh, about the succession is that which one of the following you have to arrange that which came first then which then which came okay means you have to arrange early to later stages of succession okay so we all know that first mosses and lichens came then came grasses then herbs and finally the trees were formed and this is a series of succession we all know that okay so This is a very simple question that basically asked, I think, in the evening shift. Another very simple and interesting question that was basically asked in the evening shift is that, what will be the maximum recombination frequency? We all know that in case of recombination, the frequency is the maximum frequency will be fifty percent. The maximum frequency will be fifty percent. So it may be the answer that is the fifty percent. Clear. Next. Another question is came from double fertilization. Okay, and you have to select the correct statement about the double fertilization. Okay, so what is double fertilization? We all know that basically in case of double fertilization, there is a union of two male gamete. There is a union of two male gamete with different nuclei of the embryo site. That is known as double fertilization, and we all know that it was first discovered in Lilium. Okay, and discovered by uh, Nawashin. Clear. so that's all about double fertilization where basically you basically uh, the fusion of one sperm with egg and other with central nuclei occur so this is known as double fertilization so it's a very easy question you can easily get marks from this question clear another very easy question that basically asked uh, in the evening shift examination is that what is this 14p and One one represent okay, so we all know that fourteen is a chromosome number fourteen. P is the short term of the chromosome. Okay, if this is a chromosome, okay, so this is a P and this is a long term Q. Okay, <clears throat> clear. P is the short term of the chromosome. Clear. And this one and one represent one is the region one of that chromosome and band one of that region one is the Last one, okay. That basically represent. So this is the correct, uh, basically you can say arrangement. Okay, very easy question. You can easily get marks from this question as well. Now, this is another question that basically asked in the morning shift examination. Okay, and you can easily get two marks from this question. Very simple and easy question. This question is came came from cuckoo egg, and you all know that about the cuckoo egg. so you have to find out the correct statement okay so the correct statement about this statement is imprinting okay correct statement is imprinting i just highlight the correct statement the correct statement is imprinting clear so imprinting will be the correct statement next 
and this is the final question of our basically discussion series and this question basically asked from the survivors if curve okay and uh, in this question you have to basically identify uh, basically the correct order that elephant lizard and oyster were given okay so we all know that elephant is a mammal and in case of mammal the type 1 curve is basically favorable which is basically convex in nature first of all uh, which is basically which is basically what convex in nature okay which is basically convex in nature first point and second point about the curve is that uh, if you see the curve then the date is basically occur when it is basically aged okay aged when it become aged then the death rate occur that is mortality low is very low okay in case of young age okay so the elephant is belong to type 1 clear as the type 1 curve belong to the mammals so elephant belong to type 1 and type 3 is belong to oyster oyster in case of type 3 we all know that in early age there is a high mortality rate we all know that high mortality at an early age but when it cross its mortality rate then it may be so uh, basically uh, live a long life and the type 2 curve is belong to lizard type 2 curve is belong to lizard okay so this is a question type 1 is for elephant type 2 is for lizard and type 3 is for oyster this is the correct basically combination okay so i hope you get benefited from this lecture okay if you get benefited please share our channel and subscribe it and tomorrow we will going to discuss about the expected cutoff and about the basically question that is easy moderate or hard okay so we will meet tomorrow till then thank you